Guys, we are at Steak and Shake right now, and this place is busy. So let's go inside. Oh, you can eat pancakes, $3.99. Oh, that's the exit. What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to another edition of the food game. Today, guys, we are at Steak and Shake. Because of each and every one of you that voted on the poll this week, thank you once again and stay tuned for next week's poll. I'm excited to see what you guys have to bring to the table. But that's right guys, this week we're at Steak and Shake for the very first time ever and we are going to try the Western Barbecue Bacon Steak Burger along with fries and as one of you suggested that I should try out one of their milkshakes as well. So we have the classic vanilla milkshake to start things off with and it looks really delicious right now so let's dig in guys i am excited it smells absolutely wonderful and as you know the steak and shake was newly built so everything inside was looking smooth and absolutely wonderful they even had little plush toy machine for the little kiddos out there um all the servers and staff were very nice and friendly Check it out, I love how they wrap this thing, a steak and shake. Um, famous for steak burgers. And wow guys, they gave us a double whammy. It is double wrapped and I love how they wrap this up with another wrapper like this. And uh, the steak burger though, um, it looks just a little bit different than what it does on the menu online. It looks rather smushed up actually. Uh, I'm gonna worry about that in just a little bit. Let's check out some of their fries here. First, nice, we got a whole bunch of um, pretty thin sized uh, fries. They're not too bad. They're not soggy, but they're kind of on the cold side. And, um, the taste is pretty similar to the McDonald's french fry. It's not too bad. So on the menu here, you can just compare this one that I got to the one to have on their online menu here. You can compare the difference between the two. Can you see the difference? Um, this one looks <laughs> phenomenal, even with the amount of barbecue sauce they put on here. And the one I got seems to be a little bit lackluster, but we're gonna dive right in here. Got a piece of bacon hanging off from the top there. Oh, I guess they did pack a good amount of barbecue sauce inside too. Look at that. So on here we have, uh, check the menu real quick. We have American cheese, bacon, diced and fried onions with their sweet and smoky uh, barbecue sauce. Uh, so you can see there, we're gonna give this a try right away. It is the Western barbecue bacon steak burger from Steak and Shake. I forgot to mention, this thing is packed with two patties. Wish me luck, cause I am going to need it. Mm. Mm. I like their barbecue sauce. It's a nice, sweet, and tangy. The barbecue sauce isn't too overpowering. It fits quite nice with the steak burger and um, the crispy onions on there too. Pretty good. Let's go in for a second bite. Guys, as it is getting dark upon us, you can definitely taste um, the crispy and the diced onions in this. You can even hear the slight crunch too from the breading. And the two burger patties here isn't that overpowering either, which is kind of surprising because there's two of them. Um, it doesn't seem to be dry at all. Um, pretty flavorful. Not getting too much of the American cheese though. Mm. I 
Bacon kind of flimsy, but not too bad either. The burger's nice though, I like it. Um, it's nice, it's meaty, it's pretty flavorful. So now let's check out the uh, the vanilla shake here before it all melts away. It even gave me a spoon with this too. Check that out. Get our straw here. How about you just didn't wreck the straw? Oh, here we go, guys. So the vanilla shake from Steak and Shake. And it seems like I did break the straw because I can't seem to get anything out of it because of the hole at the bottom somewhere. Um, the shake doesn't seem to be as thick as some of the other uh, fast food places out there. It's pretty tasty. Yeah, this straw is just ruined. Might as well just go in for the spoon here. Luckily enough, they did give me a spoon. Mmm. That vanilla is super creamy. I'm sure they even added a little bit of that whipped cream on the top there too to make it even more creamier. Really nice, guys. I think they even gave me like a piece of a cherry on top too. We'll see how that goes. Mmm. <laughs> cherry is phenomenal. Alright, so with that being said, guys. Um, I don't think there's a price on the paper here. But I think for the steak burger, the Western Barbecue Steak Burger, it was like 5 I'm um, 49 for it along with the fries and for the shake it was 299 so that's the price was be right up to par with any other fast food place as it comes to the sandwich and the shake in general so with that being said on my rating scale of 1 to 10 for the western barbecue bacon steak burger I'm gonna give this a pretty solid 9 out of 10 um it is a little bit smaller than I anticipated and although it was pretty tasty, I feel like um, they could have done just a little bit better. Maybe a better job with the presentation because this thing is just smushed all the way. I wasn't able to taste that much of the cheese um, or the bacon either. It was more on the flimsy side. Um, but still though, with the barbecue sauce and everything else, it was pretty tasty. And I would I totally recommend it if anybody likes uh, barbecue sauce on the burger. And as for... The classic vanilla shake guys I'm gonna give that a 9 out of 10 as well absolutely nothing wrong with it good classic vanilla shake for all your um, frozen goodness on a hot day like this and now as it is drawing closer tonight guys we are gonna wrap it up for this episode thank you all once again for voting on this week's poll this was um, an awesome experience for me and hopefully it was an awesome experience to all of you guys out there as well who might not have a steak and shake near you and I think we are one subscriber away from 1500. So please guys, share this video with your friends, with your family, with your neighbors, with your coworkers, or everybody you know of. Um, spread the word about the channel. And I think that's gonna be it guys. Thank you all once again for watching. And you know what's up, new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to follow me on social media. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and share the video. If you enjoyed, go press the subscribe button, knock it out. As always, have yourself a nice day and subscribe to join the club. Oh man, it is 7.57 by the time I wrapped up this video. I wonder what time this video is going to be posted. It's probably going to be posted tonight. Thank you all once again.